Welcome to Northwest Profiles, a look at people, places, and events of interest in the inland Northwest. Nestled inside the Cooley Corridor in central Washington state is an area full of history. Millions of years ago, lava flows and ice floods covered this area, eventually creating a rugged landscape filled with beautiful cliffs surrounding desert lakes and potholes. A town eventually formed on the southern edge of one of these lakes, a lake that has a naturally occurring high concentration of chloride, sulfate, carbonate, and sulfide, its concentration of salt is five times that of the ocean. Named Soap Lake, it became known for its purported healing qualities of its mud and water, attracting thousands to its shores in search of medicinal relief. Chronicling this history is resident and filmmaker historian Kathy Kiefer. The city of Soap Lake has had a lot of different iterations. The name of the town at one time was Siloam, uh, which, which was from the pool in the Bible where the mud was taken from the lake and put on somebody's eyes to, to, so, and they were able to see again. I think the town of Soap Lake really didn't start per se as a town because back in 1905, it was a spot on the map where people knew they could go for healing, to come to swim in the waters of the lake. Immediately, commercialism thrived as spas and sanitariums sprang up to accommodate the influx of people in search of a reprieve from their medical ailments. Back then, at the turn of the last century, mineral spas or spa locations were coveted places where people would go for healing. People had rheumatism, arthritis, skin disease, any problem, they would go to a spa or a mineral lake or a place where they could get healing from nature. The Siloam Hotel, which was up on the hill where the, where the water tower is now, which was two-story, beautiful, popular hotel that would be packed with visitors. They would pitch tents alongside the hotel for the overflow of people that were staying there. People would pitch tents on the beach. There's photographs of tents for rent, you know, 50 cents, or tents for rent, 25 cents. People arrived on stretchers on the Great Northern Railroad. People who arrived on stretchers who couldn't walk Hotel proprietors would arrive in their horse-drawn carriages and their rigs and pick up their passengers and bring them back to their sanitariums. The lake is Miramictic. It's, 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 a, it's one of a handful of Miramictic lakes in the country. Miramictic meaning that there's two different layers. The lower layer is very concentrated and, and back in the 19-teens and the 1920s, some of the spa proprietors would go with, with certain equipment go down and, and collect that deep water from the lake and they would call those deep sea baths and this deep water was smelled real strong and was real dark in color it has a distinct odor definitely particulation in the water but this is coveted this deep water it was then and, and it still is there's people who actually drink that stuff. Ailments from lumbago to bunions were treated at the lake, along with Berger's disease, a circulatory ailment that afflicted veterans from World War I. The medical profession at the time never really did know what caused it. There was some association with the wool socks and in the trenches. And over a number of years, by, by say by the 1930s, this reputation of the lake grew to the point where the, the veterans were rather common a common in town. This place was packed with people in the summers, probably from 1905 all the way up until the late 40s, packed. There, there's stories that have been, I've been told by people who grew up here that there was shoulder to shoulder foot traffic on the streets of Soap Lake. There were hundreds of people here, the crowds of people at the beach, the photographs from the 20s and 30s you know, showing Model A's and Model T's, pack the beaches. There, there's far more people in Soap Lake back a, a hundred years ago than there is today. From the boom comes the bust. With the introduction of sulfa drugs and penicillin to the arsenal of medicines available to the public, the crowds flocking to Soap Lake dwindled. Soap Lake needs to grow into its own skin. And 
it's been a while since it's had that popularity and that those crowds that came for the healing lake and it's looking at itself differently now the citizens are looking at the lake differently and i think there's there's different ideas of what this town should be like recently the arts community got a boost with the construction of the maskers theater in downtown soap lake another person came up with a unique idea to spread the word about his community soap lake resident brent blake a semi-retired architect from Seattle who grew up 26 miles down the road in Moses Lake had what he called an epiphany. Billing himself as the giant lava lamp man, Brent Blake is in the process of planning for a giant lava lamp that could cost over a million dollars to construct. Wow, what a deal, huh? There's no question that when I thought of the idea, it was absurd and weird and strange and unusual, so it's a perfect PR piece. Soap Lake needs to be revitalized, have some economic stimulus and that sort of thing. And uh, for a long period of time here that's just languished and not knowing really what to do. And, and this project and this idea, along with other people and other ideas, are, are uh, creating a renewed interest in Soap Lake and a revitalization that takes time but is happening now and will, and will have tremendous uh, uh, results in the, in the near future and uh, we're taking big steps. We've got big ideas for a small town. There's people who, who to this day come and will draw Soap Lake water out of the, the public fountain downtown. You'll see them lined up on weekends with 10 one-gallon plastic pitchers and they'll be filling them up with water to take back home. I think the word again is getting back out about Soap Lake and that mud. The mud is black and you know you have the right mud when it's creamy black like almost like ponds coal cream only black 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 and it smells very strong not a pleasant smell america is sort of going full circle in many ways when it comes to health care and preventative medicine and i think traditional medicine is being sort of augmented with more natural things like coming going to a spa or a resort or or mud baths or alternative treatments of, of a great variety and that soap lake has a place in that it has a place in the alternative treatment of various diseases skin diseases in particular the american psoriasis foundation has a website and they refer to soap lake because of patients that have passed testimonials on about how the lake has helped relieve their 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 skin disorder so I, th I think Soap Lake has a, a big place in the future treatment of various ailments naturally. If you have a story idea for Northwest Profiles, send it to KSPS TV, 3911 South Regal, Spokane, Washington, 99223. Northwest Profiles is a presentation of KSPS Public Television.